We've gotten a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 EPTU patch still for Wave 1 not too long ago and we're going straight into the patch notes. For this one the testing focus do remain the same as the previous patches and for features and gameplay under the AI category they did copy in the main rock audio polish pass. Under gameplay they did further updates to include more interior maps to planet zones and rat star locations. Quantum Dampener will now limit ships to SEM speed, updating star map names and descriptions for distribution center. Under weapons and items, the master mode quantum drive spool times have been adjusted. 2 seconds for size 1 quantum drives, 5 seconds for size 2 quantum drives, 7 seconds for size 3 quantum drives and 12 seconds for size 4. So now what I do hope is depending on the type of quantum drive um you have it stalled whether it's size one two three or four there should be a little bit of a difference um performance improvements or degra degradation um even um in addition to these times here so if it's military it should be a lot faster than your standard um size two um should be faster than five seconds you know so those are just my thoughts. Uh, under weapon balances, they reduce ranges, velocity, and damage of singe and mass drives, adding heat to ballistic weapons and increasing ammo counts of ballistic weapons. That's good to hear. Hopefully, it's now variable to use ballistics. Okay, so grenade updates. It says fixed grenades not going as far as they should. Thank you to the Balta from the community. Min radius increase from 3 to 4. Max radius increase from 4.75 to 8. On the Cortec, they did further performance updates to help reduce micro stutters uh, while playing the game. This was prominent in the last patch, so hopefully this is now resolved. Uh, they did further Vulcan compatibility improvements. They did Vulcan shader cache optimizations, made further location performance optimizations. Minimap performance improvements, further entity count optimization to help reduce entity leaks. Um, also includes further tracking for entity leaking to determine large entity counts. Under bug fixes, they have quite a few. Thruster, water, interaction, strength, range, does it match up well with the particles? So that's a, a fix there. They also fix an issue where players receive a trespassing warning with or without crime stats upon entering security zones. They also fix an issue where players enter an EVA state when entering a docking arm. They also fix an issue where unverified contracts are not shown as read in the accepted tab, making them appear the same as legal verified contracts. They also fix an issue where markup defaults not setting to black instead of the preset color. They also fixed an issue where unable to purchase consumables at physical shops. They also fixed an issue where pressing X in DNA, then selecting no will have the head library appear. They fixed an issue where head library display wrong skin on wrong head. They also fixed an issue where undoing the previous look after using the randomize all or reset makes the redo action not work. They also fixed an issue when selected site for any weapon, the UI moves off screen. They fixed an issue where there is no dedicated on and off keybind for weapon operator mode. They also fixed an issue where the player character can spin rapidly when exiting prone. Another one where sprinting does not interrupt weapon reload. They also fixed another issue where mining beams is reset to fracture mode after server crash recovery. Also another one where whilst in EVA, PIS wheels on held, item will auto close depending on player orientation. They also fixed another one where sometimes weapons fail to reload or re-reload from backpack. They also fixed another issue where after purchasing any item off the shelf the player cannot buy items using the kiosk another one where team balance is spawning players on the wrong teams this is for arena commander also another one for reading commander engineering the flight ui does not work in pu after playing arena commander engineering mode 
Also fix another issue where incorrect ocean buoyancy and velocity indicator is missing, has also been fixed. Along with this is 12 client crashes, nine server crashes, two server deadlocks, and four Vulcan specific crashes. Just to let y'all know, my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.